pray. Lord, we just thank you for everyone that's here today. Thank you for thank you for your children. Thank you that you, 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 your heart is to speak to us. And we're so grateful for um we're grateful for the intimacy that we get to we get to boast with you. And we're grateful that we get to come to you as your daughters and as your sons. So thank you for who you are. We bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So guys, today our topic is prophetic utterance. If you're on Instagram or if you're on Facebook or if you're on um, Zoom, we have three platforms at the moment and that's why I keep moving around. If you would like to join us on Zoom, the link is on my bio. Um, the Holy Spirit gave me this title the other day um, and I feel like it came from a place of just the word. Um, and that means many things. The word means even the scriptures, the word means God's spoken word. And even just from making notes today, I was just jotting down the fact that prophecy is actually a privilege that we get to experience as children of God, to speak on behalf of God, to, to strengthen his children, to encourage and to comfort. Um, You know, there's something about desiring to say what the Lord is saying, even over your own life. And I don't know if there's anyone on any of these platforms that every season of your life has been has come before a preceding word, a word that God set ahead, and then it happened. Um, and that just shows the heart of the Father over his children. One of the scriptures I wanted to share today is Joel 2, Joel 2, verse 28. He says, the Lord will pour out his, he says, it shall, it shall come to pass that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and your young, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions and, and servants and maids. It would also pour out his spirit. I love the scripture so much. And one, one of the, the striking, um, one of the striking things is that it says, I will pour out my spirit and so it's like I will pour out my spirit and then. So just because of the of the of the premise, I want to release in this room the spirit of God. And we just want to ask the Lord in this meeting today that you will pour out your spirit on your daughters, on all the speakers, everyone on Instagram, everyone on Facebook, everyone on Zoom, that you will pour out your spirit, that you will pour out your spirit that you will pour out your spirit, Lord, that you will pour out your spirit, that if there's anything we take away today, we will say that your spirit fell and then we prophesied and then we dreamt dreams and then we saw vision um, in the name of Jesus. So just before I introduce my speakers who are going to um, just give us more insights on what, what they feel about prophetic utterance or what the Lord is saying about prophetic utterance, um, I just want to say, I feel like there's people here that need to bring their friends or bring their, their sisters or their brothers. Um, so yeah, so if you could send a link to your family or friends, I really think that this is prime. Um, actually, that's not what I wanted to say. So <laughs> I believe that there's something on it. Okay, so my first, we, I mean, there's like three giants in the spirit here today. And one of them is my, my friend, my sister, Brene Zanders. Um, this woman has been a foreigner in so many aspects of my spiritual life. <laughs> and just a friend and a sister. Um, I'm excited for what she's about to release. Um, I, I think I want to introduce all of them and then bring them in. There's also my sister here, Phoebe Phillips. Phoebe is amazing. Phoebe is a wild one in the spirit. Um, Phoebe is one of those that, that, write, that write words. <laughs> like I hear words from her and I just, I just know that when is the date? Because I know that it's going to come to pass. Like I'm like, okay, God, you told Phoebe to tell me this, so it's going to happen. So I'm excited for what she's about to bring here. Then I have another fireball here. And this fireball is Lydia. Lead my my sweet 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 my sweet 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 she's my girl she's my queen she's my princess she's my everything add everything together my cupcake everything I'm so excited for today because these women are wild prophetic prophetic women so um thank you so much for joining us so I'm going to start I feel like um you guys can decide who wants to start and then just remember to unmute yourself on Instagram and then I would meet myself. <laughs> I 
I just threw the ball in the room. I know that was not what we planned. So any of you can start. <laughs> Phoebe, I, I think your smile is telling me you, you want to start. <laughs> Holy, the Holy Spirit has something else in, in mind. And so mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and take the ball. And so, um, yeah, I'm so happy that you guys are here just to, um, you came back for more. And that's really, that's the good thing with the, with the spirit of God, that there's always more. He's always more that he wants to give you. And so you don't feel as if like you gotten something from the Lord, you got a prophetic word, you got some, some kind of, um, encounter with the Lord and that that means that oh and you have to wait for another week or another few months before you encounter the Lord again God always come um, asks for more he always gives more and this is why he tells us to give him that we ask him to give us uh, our the, our daily bread and so we can literally get the the fresh bread fresh manna from the Lord every single day sometimes several times a day I get hungry just not not just I not just once a day and so yes I'm just I'm just happy just to share with you guys some of the things I've been thinking about when it comes to prophetic utterances um one thing we talked about last time and um the thing that I want to talk about this time as well is just obedience to the Lord so you receive a word and it sounds good the word someone gave you a word or you feel like a word has been impressed in your spirit um what do you do with that word right um what do you what what what's the point of having that word do you go back and ah, sorry do you go do you go back and get uh more words because you're not sure um or you do you go back and um just say oh god please keep telling me um the important thing what pleases the lord's heart is faith right? It says in scripture, there's nothing that pleases God's heart more than faith. And so sometimes even if you don't remember, you don't fully understand the word that the Lord has given you, take a step, right? Take a step. If he says, go and do this, and it doesn't quite make sense, take a step in obedience to actually follow what the Lord has said, is saying to you. And so you'll see that even if it's not the right way, like I always tell my sister, I think she's on this Zoom, uh, on the, on the uh, live, that if you think, if you're talking to the Lord and you, you say, God, I think you're saying go this way. So I'm going to go this way. And it's like, he's, he's just going to be like, good job, my child. And I just, even if it wasn't the right way, like the idea that you are just even saying, I think you're saying this and I so want to please your heart. I want to show you that I have so much faith. I'm going to go walk towards this way. Um, and even if it's not the right way, he'll just say, wow, what a good, good job, this way, this way, and there's no condemnation, there is therefore no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus, because we have been set free, and so there's just something about pleasing the Lord's heart, just in receiving the prophetic word of God, and actually starting to walk towards it, and sometimes it's going to be just surrendering, and laying down, and doing nothing, mm -hmm. that's the that, that's that's going to be like where you have the where there's that faith don't be like uh don't be like um abraham that just says oh i didn't hear some something from the lord so i'm going to try to manipulate and try to do this and whatever then you'll end up with a with a ishmael in your hands <laughs> wow um, you'll end up with ishmael in your hands and so it, it's, it's very important to a T to actually receive the word and do what it says to do, um, even if it doesn't make any sense, because nothing pleases the Lord's heart than faith. Um, and actually, it's right now it's one, one, one. And so that means that the Lord is on what I'm saying. And he's on like he's bringing even in your memory. I feel like the Lord's starting to bring things in your mind right now that he said before. And you're not sure and you're not you're thinking, oh, my God, should, should I do that? Is, is she talking about that thing? Yes, I'm talking about that thing because the Lord's on you. And the Lord is saying that he wants you to go ahead and do those things that he's already imprinted in your spirit and that he's with you. He will never leave or forsake you. And so I just, I want to encourage you guys on that. Just the obedience is key um, and not to manipulate things, not to say there's some, there's a scripture in uh, Chronicles, uh, not Chronicles, Samuel, 1 Samuel 13 that says, um, it's very, it's more important to obey than to sacrifice. And so don't say, oh, 
God told me to do this, but I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to go and worship the Lord for five hours. I will fast and pray. I will, I will give money to the homeless because like none of that's going to do anything. Um, what is, what does something is actually obeying the Lord. Because when you start to do all those other things that he didn't ask you to do, you're getting into an area of manipulation. Manipulation is actually witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And so it's so important for you to just to sit and surrender to the Lord, surrender and obey. Um, and I, it's just going to bring so much more uh, breakthrough and just peace in your life as well. Even if you don't think you got it right, that there's just something about the Lord's heart that's just going to be moved by your surrender that he'll lead you because he's a good shepherd. He's, he's going to lead you exactly in the place that you should go. And so I'm going to stop there. Uh, that was just off the cuff, but uh, <laughs> I think your spirit has, has received it. Wow. Thank you. See, I just, you see, I'm being led by the Lord. I knew that you were supposed to start. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Thank you guys. Obedience, obedience, um, obedience and stewarding the word that you already have. Um, I think that's for me, I think that's enough to check out because I have like a whole book of like words that I have already. And I'm like, okay, I need another word. And the Lord is like, mm -mm. like, let's, let's work on the hope. Let's, let's work on how you partner with me to bring the ones that I've said to life. So, and um, thank you, Phoebe. And um, Lydia, do you have, do you, I feel like you have a follow-up for what Phoebe just said, and then we'll go on to Brie. Guys, are you, and also just to get you guys excited, today we're going to have breakout rooms where people are going to give one-on-one -on -one prophetic words. Well, not people, my ministers are going to give one-on-one -on -one prophetic words, but also we're going to be doing an activation because like we, like we just read, young men shall dream dreams and your uh, sons and daughters will prophesy. So I just have this, this heart to see people prophesy on their own community or on, the, on their own um. Um, I just have this heart to see people grow in the prophetic, knowing that the Lord's heart is that we should pursue um, prophetic gifts. Um, huh? Your audio, I think. Oh, am I mute? Am I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you guys couldn't hear me on Instagram. I'm still, like, I'm growing. <laughs> okay, so I was just saying that one of the things that is exciting for today is that after the speaker's and um, after we, after the, this introduction, we're going to have breakout rooms where the ministers are going to minister to you directly um, and give you prophetic words, but also we're going to have an activation room because I have a heart to see people learn how to prophesy. And um, the, one of the heart, the heart of God is that we get to um, feed one another and pull one another into our purpose through prophetic words and through just speaking the heart of the father. So Lydia, over to you. And you can unmute on Instagram as well. Hi, you guys. Um, so excited for everyone who's like come on and those who've joined from last time and all the new people. I'm really excited for what the Lord is doing in this season and what he's about to release. And he's releasing because I feel like there's just <clears throat> we're in a very pivotal time um, with the Lord and what he's about to do on this earth. And so one of the things that the Lord's been talking to me about is honor and how honor is a posture of our heart towards what the Lord has spoken. And I feel like there's so many of us, especially if you are in a prophetic culture or, or just in general, a church culture where you hear a lot of prophetic words, or you're someone who just spends a lot of time with the Lord and the Lord has spoken so much to you about what he's about to do and, and your next season and your next step. And sometimes your situation and what you're going through contradicts what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is like, well, will you trust me? Will you honor what I have spoken? Or will you look at your situation and your circumstance? Are you focused? What are you focused on right now? And I think this is a real important pivotal time because our perception of who the Lord is, our perception of who we are in Christ will determine our obedience to the Lord. Our perception of what the Lord is releasing on this earth will propel us further into who our destiny and what our calling is or will stop us in our tracks. And so this season, the Lord has been really on honoring his voice 
and what he has spoken. The Lord keeps reminding me, I am your strength, Lydia. I am your portion. I am your inheritance. It is me. It is in me. And it is me who will be able to fulfill everything. You cannot in your own capacity be able to um, bring this word to pass because I feel like especially when when we've been given an incredible word and the Lord's like, I'm about to do this and this and this. And you're like, well, when is it going to come? And we live in the tension of the in-between. We live in the tension of the mystery. And the Lord wants us to come into a greater level of dependency on him. And when we fully surrender to him and when we fully surrender and depend on him, that's when we will find joy in, in when the word actually comes to pass. And I feel like this is a real interesting time because I feel like a lot of people are in this tension of, okay, Lord, you've said this, but I don't see it. What do I do? And the Lord keeps reminding, focus on me. Focus on me because I am the most important thing. Even when the word does come to pass, it will never supersede who the father is. It will never supersede who he is to us. And I feel like this is a season where we are in the mystery because this is where we, our strength is, is found in the Lord. Our faith, our faith is renewed in the Lord. Our faith is, our faith is really exposed in, in, in all truth. Like, Do we really have faith in the Lord or do we really have faith in our own ability to fulfill what the Lord has said? And so I feel like this is a season where things are being exposed. Things of our heart are being exposed. Things that are around us are being exposed. And this is a time when we can either draw near to the father or pull away. And so I feel like a lot of uh, the body is being really challenged to, to pick sides. Are you on the Lord's side or are you on man's side? Um, And this is, um, as I was just really pondering and just uh, waiting on the Lord to, I'm like, Lord, what do you really want to say to your people right now? And the Lord really highlighted uh, Ephesians 3.20, which is a really famous scripture. But the Lord actually was like, actually, I want you to go up a little further and start from Ephesians 3.14. And I'm going to read from 14 to 20. And it says, For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints, what is the width, length, depth, and height to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of God. And now this is the one that everyone knows. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus. And it's it's a really it's so interesting because even when the lord is bringing these words to pass and he's going exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine it is to him that is all the glory it is to him that all the honor and power and praise and so so i don't know who this word is for right now if the lord has spoken something to you and you say well lord i don't know when is this word going to come to pass don't you worry because when it comes to pass, it is to him that this glory is going to go to. And so for his sake, for the father's sake, for his namesake, he will bring it to pass. Even if it is not for your namesake, for his namesake, because heaven and earth may fail, but his word will never fail. And so I just want to encourage you, don't you focus on your own strength and your ability. Focus on him because if when, whenever the Lord releases a word, Whenever he releases something on this earth, it will never come back void. It will never come back empty. And remember, if, even if it is not for your glory, for his glory's sake, the Lord will bring this word to pass. And so I just want to encourage you. This is a season where the Lord is bringing his word to pass, what he has spoken. And so that the earth, that those who believe, and even those who don't believe, that the non-believers, that the gospel of the kingdom of heaven and earth shall come to pass. And so those who even your neighbors and people in your family who don't even know the word of the Lord, those who don't know the scripture, those who don't know the father intimately, 
when they see the promises of the Lord fulfilled in your life, they will walk into the kingdom. And so this is a season where the earth is ripe. It's ready. The, 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 uh, the, the people, the, the Muslims, the Hindus, the, the, the Sikhs, those who, those who don't know the voice of the father, they are coming into the kingdom because your life is a testimony. Because your life is going to be a living, breathing, walking testimony of the power of God. And so whatever prophetic utterance, whatever word that the Lord has spoken to you, that is going to come to pass because it is going to bring others into the kingdom of God. It is going to bring your friends and family who don't know the Lord into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And so I believe this is a season where we are shifting our focus from ourselves, from what the Lord has spoken to us. We're shifting our focus to him mm -hmm. because he's doing something bigger than us. He's, he's expanding her capacity and he's saying, baby, I, I love you and I want this for you, but it's so much bigger than you. It is so much bigger than you. And so I'm really excited for what the Lord is doing in your community, what the Lord is about to do in your neighborhood, what he's about to do in your nation, because this is, this is, a, this is a pivotal, this is a crucial, this is a time of harvest. And, and even before we're stepping into 2023, the Lord has already said, the Lord keeps reminding me, he's like, no, even before you step into 2023, I'm already starting things. The, the earth is brewing. It's ready. The, the new, we don't have to wait for the new year to see things start to happen. And I have just been um, so excited. I was actually sharing this with the girls the other day. Um, I have been physically going through my own personal battles, but I have never found so much contentment, you guys. I've never found so much peace and joy. And, and I was just, um, I was walking home the other day and I started weeping because I've been, I've been like, Lord, I physically, physically, this doesn't make sense. But spiritually, my heart is so, is so excited. It is so content with what you're doing. I feel so, so at peace, even though my physical circumstances contradict everything around me. I feel so, so full. Like, I don't need anything else. Like, I don't, like, even if I am like this for the rest of my life, I will forever praise you. I will forever give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And wow. I, and, and guys, I, I, I can say this. I've never been able to say that be, before at the, the level of, of pain I've been in physically in my body. Like I have never been able to say, Lord, even if nothing ever changes and I'm going through this, I am fully content. And so I believe that this is our posture, our heart, how we perceive the Lord is so important in this season because that is the, the ground, that is the atmosphere that the Lord is going to use for his glory. And um, another word for honor is really glory. And so this is a season where we get to see the glory of the Lord, where we get to see his manifestation. And so I just want to bless you guys. I want to bless what the Lord is doing in each of you and what he's about to release in your lives and through your lives, really. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Prophet, okay, we're going to get to the point of words and showering words. Thank you for already starting to release it. I'm going to let, oh, I'm sorry. Um, thank you for, for, for releasing even just even releasing a word, even through what you just said, honor is key. And now we've heard obedience, we've heard honor. I'm going to transition to um, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to look at my face. <laughs> okay, I'm going to transition to this to this woman right here and let her bring um I don't I don't want to I don't want to spill. Tell us what you got. And guys, I just want you to stay excited. I'm, I'm here creating like breakout rooms and um, creating breakout rooms for the activation time and also like receiving prophetic ministry. My prophets, their blood is very hot and they are ready to release. <laughs> so just, just letting you guys know um, we're getting ready for that. So yes, thank you, Brie. Over to you. <laughs> Amen. I think I'm just here just to seal. Unmute um, yourself on Instagram. Oh, got it. Okay. So good? Yes. Okay. I'm just here to seal because <laughs> I feel the reverence for the, for the Lord right now. 
uh, especially when Phoebe was talking about obedience and Lydia was talking about honor. So I feel the reverence of the Lord. So it's just, I'm, you know, bless the Lord. So I wanted to talk about grace. Mm. And I think that I'm actually just going to tie, probably going to repeat back a lot of things that Phoebe and Lydia talked about, the prophetic grace, the prophetic grace. And I think that, um, and it's so good. I love how the Lord operates in a stream and in a flow, but um, utterance, the spoken word of God, the rhema word of God. Um, and, you know, last time I talked, I talked about how to recognize the voice of God and um, the ability to recognize the voice of God is a, it's a prophetic grace. It's a grace that's given to you, um, that you don't, you get by simply being a child of God by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so you, it's a prophetic grace that you get, but I wanted to say that grace, which is the divine ability, the divine empowerment to do something is, is the reason why that comes from is first of all, humility. So it's so great because, um, Phoebe's talking about obedience and Lydia's talking about honor the voice of God, but the way you recognize the voice of God all through scripture was through humbling yourself. And so the way you, as you're, as you're humbling yourself, the Bible talks about, as we humble ourselves, we'll be exalted. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. All of these different things about humility, right? And so as I humble myself and I get under, which is honor, I get under the voice of God. I get under what the Lord is saying. Um, that is when the grace comes. Um, to do Marie, well. are you, can you make sure you're muted, unmuted on Instagram? I'm here. Oh, yes. I'm unmuted you... mute now. Sorry. Okay. okay. So I, I mute. Okay. Thank you. So, um, so I was talking about, for those who didn't hear me on Instagram, I was talking about that um, I'm just tying up what Lydia and, and Phoebe were saying that as you honor and as you obey comes a grace to do something, but that comes from humility. So if you look at the very first time you talk about in the scriptures about Abraham, when he said the Bible says in Genesis 12, I believe the Bible says that Abraham, God said to Abraham, go and leave your country. It was directional. He said, go and leave your country and go to the place that I would show you. What I love about it is the next verse down, um, the next chapter down, it says, and it says, Abraham went and the Lord went with him. And that is where the grace comes from. The grace doesn't come from, as Lydia was talking about, it's not about ourselves, right? The grace comes from the, the and, and what an honor it is that, that the Lord would be with us. This is where Moses was said, was said, I don't, I don't care what you do. I need you with me. Right. And so um, the ability to recognize the voice of God, to recognize the utterance, that still small, quiet voice of God, it is a grace, but the grace comes through the humility and the obedience. So, and, and first Sam, and I think it's first Samuel, and Samuel, when they were talking about that, there had been no voice. So imagine, put yourself in, in this shoes. There had, there had been no word of the Lord. You, you, you haven't heard from the Lord. Nobody's heard from the Lord. Your past ain't heard from the Lord. No one's heard from the Lord and the, and, and forever. Right. And all of a sudden God speaks. It took humility. So Samuel had to first, the first step in recognizing the voice of the Lord is he had to lean in and humble himself and say, wait, is this, what is this speaking to me? Right. And so he even had an act of humility where he even went to his father, thinking his father in the faith, thinking that it was him, but he was so humble. And I think that the Lord, that, that the Lord used a child for a reason. He was so humble that he humbled himself, got, uh, got under what he was saying to the point that he even went and corrected his father. But I'm saying all this to say that the humility in the voice of God to humble yourself, to turn aside and to go and say, maybe the Lord is speaking. That humility is what brings forth the grace. Lydia talked about the Bible says that no word will come, will, will, will return to him void. The Bible in Isaiah says that when I send my word out, it will accomplish. That's the grace to accomplish something that it that that it will that it will do. That's why when you're in a in a meeting and people are talking about the Lord and there's a prophetic utterance, well, some of you probably know this. I, I have a sense that we have some prophets on the line that you feel all of a sudden you feel the prophetic grace stirring or some people may say oh the, the the prophetic has walked in the room that's the grace and you you don't do it on your own you don't say okay can you come back tomorrow you just kind of just say okay this is this is what's in the room speak lord your servant is listening 
right? And so I guess what I'm saying right now is that as we're talking about the seasons and the times, I think that the, the gift of humility and the gift of obedience and honor to get under, the best thing I could ever do is to get under what the Lord has said. It doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter when he says move, I have to move because I have to know that the Lord is with me. That when I go and I think that recognizing the voice of God, sometimes it can feel untrue. It says, um, like Gideon, you are, the, you, you are a mighty man of valor and that can feel untrue, but you got to get under that, right? And so I think the most important thing is, is to get under what the Lord is saying. And as you get under the, what the Lord is saying, that's actually when you begin to recognize, oh, this really is the Lord. Um, I don't think anyone really is certain, like, oh, this is absolutely the Lord. It's when you begin to move in obedience and move in honor and reverence for the Lord that all of a sudden the grace, I kind of like to see it as Peter's walking on the water. And I don't know if Peter really believed it, but as he walked, it began to get firm. He was walking on the word that the Lord said to him. But as you move the grace to do what you otherwise could not do happens. And so, and that includes recognizing the voice of God. As you begin to move, you get the prophetic grace. Some people say, well, how can this person prophesy and do all these things? They have a grace and that grace came from them humbling themselves and honoring the voice of God above everything. And so I just wanna affirm um, what everything that Phoebe and Lydia said, I actually feel like they just laid the foundation that the grace of God, the prophetic grace is not earned. It's nothing we've done. It's nothing, any of that. In this season, as you're asking the Lord, how can I, how can I accomplish this? You're like, Mary, let it happen to me according to your word. How can I accomplish this? And it's nothing that the Lord gives you. Everything the Lord gives you, it, he will accomplish. How will you do it? By grace. That is how you're going to do it. And so every word that the Lord has given you, I just speak that. I don't know. I see grace on, on, on Zoom. I just speak that over you guys, that how are you guys going to get this done? How, how, how is by humbling yourself, by honoring and obeying the Lord and, 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 and from that will come the grace to accomplish what he sent forth it to do. And I wanna say this also, as you speak it to somebody else, let's say he's not telling you something, maybe he's giving you a word for somebody else. As you speak, he's giving you a prophetic grace for that person. So your obedience is so huge. So, and you may be uncertain, but as you're speaking, I promise you that the Bible says he will give you, he, he literally gives you power. Grace is power, the empowerment for that word to accomplish. And so I bless your obedience and I bless your humility. The fact that you guys are even on here shows that you guys are um, humble. It's an honor to even, even say, to even be here. So God bless you. Wow. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, lead, for saying that. It's actually going to precede what I'm about to do. I, uh, okay, let me unmute on Instagram. So actually, I feel like just before we even go into breakout rooms, I would like to do an activation. And she, she, Brie was just saying something and she said that, okay, what I was picking up while you were talking was, you know, there's so many times that I've gotten a word and what was more important at that moment, what was more important at that time was actually my obedience more than the word. So many times, what has been more important is my obedience more than the word, whether I'm receiving or giving, even my obedience to be open-hearted to it. And then I walk away from there and, and like an hour later or a year later, the word makes sense that I received. Or a year later, it makes sense why the Lord had me give that person that word. So it, even in that, like I want us to do like a two minute um, activation. Um, if you could just, sit down at, well, sorry, you don't have to sit down, but open your hearts to the Lord right now. Close your eyes, whatever makes you focus and just ask the Lord one prophetic word. And I'm not going to tell you who it's for. So just ask the Lord one prophetic word. Um, and I'm going to set a two minutes timer starting now. <laughs>
Okay. So guys, if what you what you heard was just a word, a smell, a feeling, anything, I want you to type it in the chat. Um, and just before just before you do that, I just even one of the guidelines that I know that we um we follow for prophetic words is that does it edify? Um number one, and even is it a word that if it's said to you, um, you would receive? And is it, does it align with the word of God? Honestly, if it matches any of those three, no, pre, no uh, how do I say it? Like, I want you to give yourself grace to just be bold and just type it because you'll be surprised that it actually means something to somebody. Um, so can we just practice that? I want you to flood the chat with one word, one sentence, whatever you heard, yes. Somebody heard peace. And that one is for me for sure. <laughs> um, guys, let's flood the chats with whatever you heard. Divine timing. Amen. 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 Waiting on God. Wow. That's good. I'm making space for everyone to to just type in the chat. Um, just type type in the chat what what word came to mind, whether it's for you, whether it's for somebody else. Um, and just watch how people respond to what um what resonates with them. Hope, yes. Hope, yes. Somebody heard coconut. <laughs> <laughs> right and maybe that's somebody's favorite favorite fruits so if coconut is actually one of your favorite is it a fruit or a vegetable i don't even know um if coconut means something to you i want you to go ahead and put in the chat um somebody said you are not a disappointment if that actually means something to you i want you to go ahead and put it in the chat um And I just want you to even know that even the obedience to type is actually a word. <laughs> the obedience to type is a word. Like, um, yeah, I won't say more than that. <laughs> dog. Somebody heard dog. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Okay. Um, would somebody like to unmute and go through the words on the chat and tell me if any reson like if any of the words in the chat resonate with you, would you like to unmute and just say a sentence about it? Um, just as I usher people into the breakout rooms. Guys, don't be scared. <laughs> you have full permission. I can go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think what I oh my name is Naomi. I'm from Kenya. Hi. <laughs> what I resonate with is patience. Patience. Right. Yeah, I think I've really been praying and hoping for the, some some things, and they make me very anxious. Wow. And what I've been like, I think patience was for me because you can't hurry God. You yeah. have to be patient at this time. That's so good. Okay, guys, do you see the point of the activation? It was just one sentence, but it was from a pure place of humility, a pure place of obedience, a pure place of honor that made the person type it out. Um, and now it resonates with somebody else. So even if that's the one thing to take away from there, that the Bible says that I will pour out my spirit and all men will prophesy. Um, so the Lord wants to speak to, and I think what was important here was not as important that Tachi wrote it here in the chat, but what was more important was that he, like not what was more important, but what I'm saying is that it's a two-way thing. Like one person is receiving and one person is giving, but both take obedience and both take like the humility of an open heart. Okay, so 
Guys, I'm so excited that you guys were here today. I'm going to send some people off to breakout rooms, and I'm also going to leave some people outside in the, in the main room for Lydia and I to prophesy on. Um, somebody just said, you are not a disappointment resonates with me. So I just hope that that even encourages you to, to feel like you actually hear the Lord. Um, like to feel like you hear the Lord. So Brie, I'm going to let you release a corporate word while I, I actually spread people into breakout rooms. Um, and guys, like in the breakout rooms, I have prophetic ministration and I have activation in the spirit. If you actually really, really would like activation, can you put, put a wave in the chat? And I'm only going to send like four people each time to each room just to make sure that I have time to circle around. So please communicate to me in the chat and tell me what your heart really wants. Thank you. Okay, Bree, over to you. Yeah, I just got a, um, the word that I got goes back to, I think Phoebe talked about. Can you unmute on Instagram, please? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, Phoebe talked about 111, and I just really feel like this is a corporate word. I know that mm. this is actually a risk because there's so many people, but um, I actually feel like whoever, you guys that are in here are actually in a, a, a chronos, like a divine timing moment. Um, and one of the ways the Lord speaks to me is there's a lot of different things, but he speaks to me through feeling. And I, I could sense that as I was on that there was a questioning about the voice of God. And um, in the Bible, it talks about the old prophet and the new prophet. And I'm um, forgive me, I can't remember exactly what it was. I know some of you guys know it and I'll find it and I'll put it in the chat. But the new, the old young prophet was going a certain way and um, the God gave him specific instructions and he and the, the old prophet lied and told him to go a different way. And because he honored a man and honored that person, that old prophet more than he honored what the Lord told him, he turned and went the wrong way. He actually was killed by a lion. What am I saying? I'm saying that whatever the Lord has told you, stick to it. Um, and sometimes when you move, when you move, there is there's war for the prophetic. And one of the things it is, I I share by I feel the Lord. One of the things is make up your mind. Make up your mind. Whatever the Lord said, stick to it. Um, and so that going back and forth thing, that is not the Lord. And so whatever the Lord has said to you, I feel like you are in a divine moment. And I just feel like the Lord, just stick to what the Lord told you at first. And I feel like prophetically, it sounds like it's you. And you're just trying to make sure it sounds like, oh, I'm just trying to make sure. And it actually, it feels like accusation, like, oh, you're, you're doing this because of this. And you're doing this because of that. Whatever the Lord said to you, that is what the Lord said to you. And so I just declare over you a grace over your mind and over your ear gates, that your ear gates are shut to any other voice and that you have, you will make up your mind. And that the peace of the Holy Spirit, that there will be a settling, a grace would come upon you right now. And that in this divine moment, while you guys are going right now, this today, this hour is a divine moment. Whatever the Lord says to you, stick to that. Go back Amen. to what he said to you and stick to that. And so I bless you guys with that. You will not be moved. And I just declare um, that the presence of the Lord and the peace of the Holy Spirit would be with you. And as you, you would set him continuously before you, you will not be moved. I declare that over you. And as I speak, the grace of the Lord to do it is going out. And so I just declare that you will not be moved in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Um, guys, I have the rooms ready. Um, Phoebe, I have your room um ready and i'm just going to send four people in i know that you and i'm going to leave you to manage the time by yourself um because i know you have another meeting to jump right on to um, um brie i'm starting your room with activation and i'm going to send i'm still waiting for people to tell me if they wanted to join activation and then lydia you and i can kick asses here i'm just kidding please i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i am so sorry I, i'm just joking okay um so I'm, I'm sending some people to the rooms now so if you if you get a notification to go into the room that's because i've just assigned you to a breakout room someone said love that please no <laughs> oh my god okay um so please just click join if you get a notification for a breakout rooms <laughs> kick donkeys yes that's much better um Okay, so Brie, 
I've just sent you to your room. Okay, she's gone. Um, I'm going to, so is there anyone here that would like to go into the activation room? Um, just before Brian, um, just before um, Lydia and I start to prophesy here. I can't actually see waves. Activation, okay, great. Um, okay. I'm, as, I'm sending you right now to activation. Oh, well, people are, okay. People are going by themselves. Great. Making my life easy. Okay. Um, <laughs> Leeds, are you ready? Do you, um, okay. Okay, so there's someone I've sent to a breakout room that is still out here. Um, Lydia, would you like to start? And then you can unmute on... On Instagram? Actually, you don't need to. You can, you can start. Okay. Uh, Joanne Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, hi, friend. Um, I can't see your, oh, I see you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, um, thank you, Lord. Um, I don't know if January 14th means anything to you. Um, uh, but I feel like some, sometime next year at the beginning of January, I feel like something's going to shift for you personally. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, it's relating to family and finances. I really believe the Lord is actually, uh, there's going to be an opportunity that's going to come your way. That's going to, um, that's going to present itself. It's almost going to seem, it's going to seem like a disguise, like you're not going to see it coming. Uh, but the Lord is actually going to prepare you in advance. And I believe like the Lord is going to be setting up the stage in the month of December for you. Um, and uh, the breakthrough is going to come in January um, relating to family and finances in particular. Um, and I also believe um, the month of April is going to be very pivotal for you um, where um, uh, Something that the Lord has been speaking to you specifically about this month. I don't know if there's anything in specific, but I feel like there's something in particular that you've been, that's been on your heart and that you've desired for. And I see the Lord really opening that door for you in April of next year. And I also really see that the Lord is opening your heart to love um, and just awakening your heart to love and just healing your heart, but also um, just. Uh, it's going to be a really beautiful season where uh, you're going to be around community and family. And um, I don't know if you're married, uh, but uh, just bringing love into your life, um, a kind of love that you've never experienced or felt before. Um, and it's going to be the kind of love that's actually going to be so healing to you that you are going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that something like this is available for me. Uh, something like this is something that I could even partake and walk in. Like you've heard about it, you've seen it, but you never thought it's something that you get to experience for yourself. And I really believe the Lord is actually going to bring so much love into your life. It's almost going to overwhelm you. Um, and so, yeah, I really believe this next year, especially 2023 in particular, is going to be a really uh, pivotal and a defining year for you. Um, and it's going to be a defining year, both personally in your life, but also in your family. I feel like a lot of what you are going to experience is going to be an overflow of what your family is going to experience. Um, and so, yeah, I just want to bless you, Joanne. I want to bless what the Lord is about to do in your life and what he has already started. Um, I also like I just want to seal the words that the Lord has spoken to you in previous seasons, that whatever he has spoken shall come to pass shall actually come to fulfillment of what he has released over your life. 
Um, and I just want to pray a prayer of blessing. Lord, I just pray, oh Lord, for Joanne. I pray, oh Lord, for the grace that's on her life, that the grace that she's walking in right now, oh Lord. And I even pray, oh Lord, that she will walk in a greater measure and a greater level of revelation um, and clarity, oh Lord, that she will know that she hears your voice and she hears your voice well, Lord. And I just pray, oh Lord, that, um, that as you are getting her ready for this season of transition, Oh Lord, I pray, oh Lord, that every moving piece shall be placed in order, that everything that needs to come into alignment shall come into alignment, Father. And Lord, I pray a prayer of blessing over her life, oh Lord. I pray, oh Lord, that your blessing shall be pressed down, shaken together, and it shall be running over, oh Lord. And I just thank you. I thank you for the goodness and the mercy that's on her, oh Lord. And I, and I just release her, release her fully into you, Lord. Um, and thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Lydia. Oh, you're so Amen. welcome. Um, Dave, do you, do you have something for Toby? I'm trying to move some other people here um, so that Phoebe is not overwhelmed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't have something right now, but give me a okay. minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Hey, Remy, did you add me to a big break in, breakout room before? Um, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Yes. Hi, Toby. Hi, Nidia. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you, by any chance, know anyone who's getting married in your life right now? Like in this next, I would say, 20, 12 months? Maybe, Remy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> um, do you have a sister yeah okay. but she's younger sorry she's younger I have a you younger have, sister. you have a younger sister and do you have a brother yeah yeah you have a brother and a sister mm -hmm. one brother and one sister yeah okay okay yeah um and you don't have anyone in your life within the next 12 months who's gonna get married yeah. No, um, Lydia, yeah. are you trying to say you don't have faith? She just told you it's me. I yeah, still asking her. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> live, live, live TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Remy. Um, I don't know anyone. Like as you say, now I'm thinking. I don't know anyone else. Um, within the next twelve months. Like someone who's who's already like engaged and like they put the dates out and everything. Oh yes, 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 yes. They've not put the dates out, but someone that got engaged. I That's have a so friend that just got engaged recently. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four months. Yeah. Very yeah, next year. Yes, yes, yes. I have a friend that just got engaged. Okay, I figured. Yeah, that's that's kind of why I was asking. Okay, okay. First, um, about your siblings, and then I will prophesy over your concerning your friends, and then the, as the Lord leads. <laughs> um, so about your siblings, the Lord first highlighted your sister, and then He highlighted your brother. Um, and so I'm gonna start off with your sister first. Um, I, is your sister in university? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I really feel like, um, I really believe the Lord is actually blessing her mind. This is, I, sorry, before I start, are you, do you happen to have a phone on you by any chance so you can record it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I really believe the Lord is actually blessing your sister and he's actually blessing her mind. He's blessing her capacity to understand things, uh, mm -hmm. complex things. Um, and he's actually expanding her ability to, uh, to, to dissect things, but also to strategize. I don't know if she's like in finance or, or, or like management or something, but I really believe the Lord is actually blessing her mind in particular and that she's going to walk into a space of ease and grace. It's not going to be hard for her. It's not going to be, it's not going to be something that she has, she's going to try to make it work or uh, like build up. She's actually going to walk into this space where the Lord is going to be like, I'm just blessing your mind. And 
and she's mm-hmm. going to understand complex things. And it's almost going to seem uh, unreal at first because she's like, she's not used to this necessarily, but the Lord is actually going to be like, this is a blessing over your life and I'm not going to take it back. And the Lord wants her to know that the blessings he's releasing into her life are not revocable. That everything, that every good thing that the Lord is actually going to bless her with is going to, um, is, is permanent in her life. And so I even just, uh, I want to bless the season that she's in as she's in school and, and as she's studying. And I also want to uh, prophesy over your brother. I really believe the Lord is, um, is there's, there's, he's walking into a season of discipline. Um, and I don't know what that looks like for him in particular, but I feel like there's a season of discipline, which is going to lend into a season of abundance because he's, the Lord is going to discipline him in certain areas of his life. It is actually going to have a ripple effect where he's going to walk into a season where he's going to learn how to steward and manage great things. And the Lord is really uh, blessing his, uh, his, like, I don't, from what I get a sense, your brother seems like he's a really hard worker. Um, and, and he's very like on point. And I feel like the Lord is even stretching his capacity to even, uh, steward greater things. Uh, you know, the parable in the Bible that talks about the, the master who, 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 who had different servants and he, and they, they had, they were each given something, given talents. And because where did those talents while the Lord blessed them with more? And I feel like this is a season where the Lord is going to bless your brother with more because of the discipline that he's walked in and the discipline he's walking into. And so I just want to bless that over your brother's life. And even for your friend um, that just got engaged, I believe um, her marriage, I don't know if you're in a relationship or you're married. um, Mm -hmm. I feel like it's actually going to uh, impact your life as well this this particular engagement I don't know how what the connection is going to be but I feel like the Lord is because of how you have stewarded your heart well and how you have postured your heart I believe that there's going to be a blessing that's actually going to lend into itself into your into your life as well um, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of connection with this particular person the friend that you have but I believe the Lord is actually, there's something related to this engagement and, and, and your faithfulness in your, even in your season of singleness, the Lord is actually going to bless you. Um, yeah. And I don't know if you're going to go to the wedding, uh, but I really believe there's something on this relationship that's actually going to bless you. Um, and just, and just for you, just Toby, I really believe that the Lord has, uh, you have stayed consistent and you've stayed faithful. You have stayed the ground and, and the Lord wants to honor that. He wants to honor your faithfulness. He wants to honor your faithfulness even when it was difficult for you to, to, to stay in the game. Um, and even when it, things were not easy for you, you chose, to, you chose to stay and you chose to keep moving. And the Lord wants you to know that he's so proud of you. He's so proud of the woman that you are, the woman that you becoming. And he wants to honor your heart. And I really believe this, these next 20, the next 24 months, starting from this November, you're going to see a fruit of everything you've prayed for, everything that you've contended for, and you have waited you have waited and you've waited so well, Toby. And the Lord wants you to know that he has not forgotten you. He's not forgotten how you have, have given and you've given consistently over and over and over again. And the Lord wants you to know that he's going to, all the seeds that you have sown, all the seeds that you have planted will come back to you and they'll come back to you in a hundredfold. And so I just want to bless you. I want to bless you, Toby, because these next 24 months are going to look so different from the last five years. And so I just, uh, I just want to bless you. There's going to be, I'm so excited because the Lord is shifting so many things in your life. Your next two years are going to be so, so powerful and so, so different that it's actually going to blow your mind away. And so I just, I'm so excited for you, Toby. I'm like so excited because the Lord is bringing honor. He's bringing honor where honor is due. And so I just want to cover you. I want to cover your heart. 
Um, and I'm just going to pray over you right now. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the faithfulness of Toby. I thank you for how she has stewarded herself in this season, how she has stewarded her relationship with you, Father. And I thank you, Father, that you have, have not forgotten her. You have that you have held her in the palm of your hands and you have constantly, consistently looked at her and said, you are not forgotten, my love. You are not forgotten. And I thank you, Lord, because because you have because she has forever remembered you, you have you are going to overflow her. You're going to overwhelm her with your goodness, oh Lord, you're with your goodness and your mercy, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that she is walking into a season of fruitfulness, that this season will be marked by a season of fruitfulness, oh Lord. Everything that she has sown will come to pass, Lord. And I thank you, oh Lord, that the enemy, that the canker worm had, will not steal anything, will not steal anything that you have released, Father. And I thank you. I bless her mind. I bless her heart. I bless her spirit. I bless her soul, for they shall be well, and they shall be well with you, O oh Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Bless you, Toby. Thank Amen. You. That was like a whole, like a whole word for five years. Oh my God! <laughs> like if, um, Toby, you don't need any. If I find you anywhere receiving any more words, um, um, where, what are you doing? <laughs> because that was very that was out of love, like a lot of attention given to you, and I'm sure it was your hair. Oh, I'm sure something attracted. I'm sure it was her hair. This is how people will be doing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, okay, Thank so, you so much, Lydia. that was very, um, that was very precise, especially like the numbers you said, like past five years. I was like, whoa, that, that, in that, um, I mean, everything you said about my siblings, um, I just, I received it. Like in my head, I was like, no, she, she should know God, like that's more, that was more I was praying, but God is kind, He knows how I would draw. Um, it, it draws a lot of work to him um, but like yeah I moved to the state five years ago and it's been an interesting um, journey um, but yeah that, that felt very um, precise thank you thank you thank, God. thank you thank you prophetess um, Lydia You're and thank you. <laughs> thank you the other way too for receiving because it's honestly it's both it's both sides okay so Naomi um, are you there? Just make sure. Yes, okay. I am. Okay, perfect. Okay, so as soon as you come, came back here, the word that came to my mind was, or the scripture that came to my mind was actually Psalm 3.3. 3. But you, first of all, I heard grace, and then I heard Psalm 3.3. 3. But you, O oh Lord, had a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head. Mm. I'm going to release and just um, release a prayer following that. Oh Lord, I thank you that you're the lifter of head. Holy Spirit, thank you that even as we pray that your spirit is being poured in this room and in the breakout rooms in the name of Jesus. I'm feeling the Lord tangibly on my, on my palm, on my fingers. Lord, I just pray that you would rest on Naomi where she is right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that you are the lifter of head. <laughs> you are the lifter of head. You are the divine lifter of head. Lord, over Naomi, I pray for divine grace in the name of Jesus. Divine grace, like grace that is walking. That is walk, like walking in foot. Literally, like you're sitting and the grace is the one moving. You're, you're standing and the grace is the one walking. The grace is the one making all the steps because God is the lifter of your head. I just pray that the Lord perfect all that concerns you. And in G are you married? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you old enough to be married? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, I just released, I just pray, I just, I just heard perfect all that concerns you in the area of marriage so i release that over you in jesus name that the lord will perfect the lord will go before you and perfect all that concerns you in the area of marriage in the name of jesus amen 
Um, yeah, and I just I just feel the stirring of hope. So I just released the stirring of hope in your mind, even in that area. I feel like that's a touchy area for all women waiting. <laughs> Here we are. Anyway, um, but I just release, I release the stirring of hope that your, that your hope is just alive and your hope is such that you feel like it's near in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, so Toby, you're happy to, you're open to go into any of the rooms. You should be able to do it on the side. So it's such that you can, yeah, you can come in and go out. So you should be able to do that. Um, Leslie, okay, actually before then, um, Lydia, so there was somebody that I think is having network issues. And one of them, his name is Sam Samuel. And one of them, his name is Ekene, not the Samuel online. There was another Samuel, Samuel Adelaja. And then I'm going to send you both names. If you do have a word, could you see if you could release it? And I'll just message them to go back and watch it. So I'm going to send you their name now. Um, okay. And actually, I'm going to give Samuel a word and then you, you can see if you hear something for AKN because he's my friend. So it's probably better you, you give him. <laughs> okay, so um, Samuel, if you're watching this again, Samuel Adelaja, I just release the rest of God over you, just the rest. Um, and I just feel like you're in a season where the Lord is about to give you an apostolic faith. I don't know what that means. Well, no, the Lord is about to give you an apostolic faith. <laughs> um, and just increase in joy over your life. So an apostolic faith and increase in joy over your life. Um, And I just feel a blessing upon you and your children's children. Um, a blessing upon you and your children's children. And it doesn't even sound like you have children yet, but I just hear specifically like a blessing upon you and your children's children. And I, yeah, I even hear the song like, your children's children shall be free. Or is it, is it shall be free or shall be saved by Israel Otten? Like, that the Lord is blessing you and your children's children, like the blessing that you're getting now, your children's children shall be free. They shall be free and they shall be saved um, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, Lydia, so the name is Ekene. I don't know. Ekene. He was, he was wearing suit on his, um, on his DP earlier and then he just jumped off, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing you, yeah. Um, Hello, Brother Akini. Um, so the word that I, I got for you is the supernatural favor of the Lord. I really, um, I really want to bless you. I, wanna, I don't know if you're in business, but I want to bless the work of your hands. Um, the Lord is saying that he, he has found favor. You have found favor in his sight. And everything that you have built shall be blessed and it shall be well with you. And I even see you finding favor with... Uh, with um, just government officials and people in authority that you are wanting to uh, get some things done. And I just see the Lord just opening doors for you and just giving you access and permission to things uh, that you have a desire for. And um, everything that you put your hands to shall be blessed because it is gonna be, uh, it is gonna be a sign to you and your family that it is only because of the Lord that you are where you are at. And so I just want to bless you. I want to bless what the Lord is doing. And I pray that, um, that you will be like Job, who has never forgotten the face of the Lord, that you will be like Job continuously, even in your abundance, you will never forsake the, the goodness and the, the, the face of the Lord. And so I just bless you. I bless your family. I, I bless your, uh, uh, I don't know if you're married and you have children, but I just want to bless that as well. Um, and I bless your future that as the Lord establishes everything, that uh, that his kingdom shall come to earth through you and through what you are doing on this earth. Um, so yeah, just bless you, Brother Kenny. Um, and can I uh, also prophesy that over Leslie? Yeah, um, I was I just going to say, oh my God, great. Um, I was literally just going <laughs> to... Hi! <laughs> Leslie, oh I just want to I just want to say that the Lord just wants to honor your faithfulness. You have stayed on this call and just been faithful. I've seen you since you first popped up on the call and 
And the Lord just wants you to know that your faithfulness is what brings you access to the goodness and the favor and the abundance of the Lord. And I feel like um, you are a woman of faith, but you are a woman of um, uh, just a lot of humility. I get the sense that you have walked in great humility and great uh, perseverance and you've endured through so much. You've endured through so many trials and battles and um, your heart, the way you've postured your heart to the Lord, you've never for once had any contempt towards the Lord and any, any anger and frustration. And even in your pain, you have always glorified the Lord. And the Lord wants you to know that, um, that you are his, his delight. You are his, the apple of his eye. And you, the prayers, the tears that you have sown are going to come back to you. The, the, the fruit of those pr prayers and tears are going to come back to you. And I just, I see the Lord really opening the floodgates of heaven over you. I believe every single area of your life is going to be impacted. There's not going to be one area in your life that is not going to be impacted by the Lord. I even see your health, particularly your health, your finances your relationships, uh, your, uh, uh, the work of your hands, everything that you're doing shall be in. Like, uh, Remy, you've joined us. I came to receive a word. Oh my God. <laughs> I just came to, I just came in to check on you. Are you good? Yeah. yeah. I just have Philip, uh, okay. last, but then I actually also see Toby. So. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Just checking on you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay so teaching moment so sometimes i we're gonna affirm uh the 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 woman that you are and i just see it's there's gonna be a shift there's a there's like an interesting moment where like you're walking down the same street and you get two completely different responses and reactions you're like i was just here yesterday what just happened and I just see it's going to be a sign and a wonder to you that you have shifted seasons. And um, it's going to be, you're not going back. I just want you to know that you are not going back. What you're walking into is going to be yours and it's going to forever be yours. The good, the goodness of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, his, his, his grace over your life, it's going to be yours. It's, you're never going to have to return it. It is not something that's ever going to be taken back from you. And so I just want to bless you, Leslie. I want to bless the faithfulness. Your faithfulness has positioned you to receive a greater measure of the Lord. Just like how faith positions us to receive the abundance of the Lord, your faithfulness to the Lord has positioned you to receive exceedingly abundantly more than you could have dreamed or imagined. Um, so I just want to bless you, Leslie. Yeah. Thank you. And you did address that. You did address a concern about it's really been very hard, very, but the Lord is just the Lord. And um, so I know I'm going into a new season, but I really did have the concern about, you know, like it being snatched, you know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you. Absolutely. I'm so excited to hear the testimonies that are going to come out of this season. It's it's going to be mind blowing. It's going to be a sign and a wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Um. Okay. I think. Um, Leslie, I was going to just pray over you regarding intimacy. Okay. Um, intimacy. Whew. Lord, I just released your in like the intimacy of the Father. Like um, this is so bold. Um, I'm going to release the intimacy, the intimacy that Jesus has with the Holy Spirit and the Lord. Like the the intimacy of the Trinity. Like I'm going to release that over you. So I release that over you, even as you sit there in the name of Jesus. Reba shekera baba shekera baba shekera baba. The Lord like. Right, just I release even, and I feel like this is for everyone in this room, including me. Like the intimacy, the intimacy of the tri triune, like the Trinity intimacy, like the Lord, the Holy Spirit, and God. I release that over you. That you just, you just fall so in twin with 
any one of them or all of them at the same time, but a very strong intimacy that brings bonding. And that when people see it over you, they just see, they see who your partner is. Like people approach you and they see who your partner is. So I just release it and I just pray that it comes with life, that it comes with life in the name of Jesus. Intimacy that comes with life, like life and life in abundance. Like you're living life in full, but you're still intimate with the King. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, Leeds, I think Ekene jumped on, so you can just give him directly, I guess. <laughs> Is it okay if he goes back and hears the word? Because I don't fully remember. Oh, you don't remember? You want to see if you... Okay, let me see. Because I hadn't sent that. Let me... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, go back to the message. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I hear what you're saying. Um, Ekene, do you want to go into one of the breakout rooms? Actually, I'm just going to send you to... Can you unmute and let me know? I think I'm going to send you to Bree. Yes, yes, Remy. That's, that's fine with me. Thanks. Okay, okay. I'm going to do just that now. Okay, so breakout rooms. Assign to yes. Just click accept. I'm sure you would figure it, find it. Did you find it? Did you find it? Ekeni? I just sent you to a room. I don't know if you, you were able to figure that out. Oh my God, I think it's a network. The network is so interesting. So I just sent you to a room. So just make sure you remember to just accept the room. I just sent you to a room. Uh, I just sent you to a room. Okay, well, um, Joanna, Joanne, sorry, not Joanna. Joanne. Hi. I actually feel like you have a word. Um, one second. Ekene, are you able to join any of the rooms? Because I still see you outside. Just want to make sure that you can. Okay. Um, hi. John, I actually feel like you have a word and this is an activation moment for you right now. So I'm going to let you put you right on the spot <laughs> and let you ask the Holy Spirit for a word. Um, and if you don't feel bold enough to pick who it is, just release the word and let's, let's watch what the Lord does with who it resonates with. <laughs> Okay, give me a give me a moment. Let me take, no, take your time. Ask the Lord. Okay, um, I'm not sure who it is for, but no it kind of Great. Con continues on what I said in the chat earlier about yeah. um, that you're not a disappointment. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's somebody struggling with, I feel maybe like a repetitive um, issue, you know, like in oh is it hebrews hebrews 12 um speaks about the besetting sins mm. so i feel like there's somebody struggling with a besetting sin mm. um and they feel as though they are not like they're just a disappointment to the lord like they, they can't seem to overcome that challenge or that issue mm. um and 
and so it's weighing heavily on them mm. and i feel like the lord is just reminding them that they are not a disappointment and that he loves them and that it's not about them trying to do it any or trying harder to to do it um but that the more they ask him to help he will help so mm. yeah that's that's it oh wow um i feel like i know who it's for so i've recorded it <laughs> and i'm going to send it to them but how do you feel even from releasing it um a little a little scared a little scared oh, okay <laughs> um it's funny because he, his internet isn't working but he had said on the chat saying this word relates with me um and i think he's, he's jumped back on again Ekene, are you able to go into the breakout room now? Every time I assign you, it brings you back out. Just want to make sure. Uh, no, Remy. I, I think there's a problem with the. I, I'm not sure what what exactly. Okay. Can you is. see? Can you see on the on the red side that there should be? A, okay. Um, Naomi. Yeah. Like when when you got the notification to join a room, what came up on your phone? Actually, um, so I'm using my computer, but Ikene, just look at the bottom. There's a banner with different um icons. When you click on the breakout rooms, pick the one that's written activation in prophetic, then just join it. If you're using a computer, I don't know about okay. the phone. Okay. So okay, just... um, I, I can see that and I'm about to yeah. join in. Okay, I just join. Okay. Activation in, in the prophetic. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm going to try again. All right, thank you. Um Okay. So I, I was just saying that um yeah, so I feel like that really I've recorded it and I'm going to send it because he kept on popping in and out but I put it in the chat saying that that relates with me. So I just want to cover your heart as well cuz it's very exposing to just be vulnerable. Oh Lord, this in this network today, <laughs> it's very exposing to like it feels vulnerable. I mean, to just like you know give a word online. <laughs> so yes, I just cover your heart that you would know that you're hearing straight from the Father. And I feel I can as I'm as I'm releasing this, I'm seeing you put your 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 head on his chest, um, and he's whispering to you. So you're just saying what he's whispering to you. So who gets in trouble? Certainly not you, because it's not your words. <laughs> so I just cover your heart and I just cover your mind that you just feel confident. And even in that, like, even as you leave here today, that you just feel confident to, um, you feel confident to, how do you say it? Like, you just feel confident to ask the Lord again, just the same thing you did and just prophesy over people. And because the Lord really wants to speak to his children. And just like Phoebe was saying, no matter what you say, the Lord is going to do like this. And then they will just hear what the Lord wants them to hear. That happens to me all the time. So I just release that over you and even just over everyone in the room. Um, Lydia, do you have anything to, to share? Yeah, I was actually about to. Um, Joanne, I just want to honor the yeah. fact that you stepped out. Like the, that takes a lot of boldness and courage. And I know that's not easy. And I know sometimes like, when you see other people do it, you're just like, oh, it's easy for them. But I know it's it's never easy. And but the fact that you still chose to do it and you chose to not back out of it, you could have easily said, Remy, actually, I'm not getting anything and I'd rather not. But you you took the risk. You took the risk saying, hey, like this might mean something to someone. It might not mean something to someone. And so I feel like this is also going to be uh it's an example of how the lord's honoring your risk and it's not because of the outcome of the risk but the fact that you obeyed and you took the risk and sometimes obedience looks like it doesn't make any sense to me god is with her and, um, you know hi. god hi i can't skip a word okay i'm just kidding just check it out are you guys doing good so, we're good yes <laughs> 10 more minutes guys love you okay okay <laughs> okay okay so even though she feels that way 
Um, I, I know this voice, so please, who is this? <laughs> oh my god, oh, yeah, she's um, killing it too. Let me tell you, she's yeah. sharp, she and she don't lie either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come back, I'll come back. Bye. <laughs> The prophetic that is being stirred in you, I want to bless the desire to hear more for the Lord and hear not just for yourself, but also for others. And I want to bless, um, I want to bless this journey and that you shall go from glory to glory, grace to grace, acceleration to acceleration, from mountain to mountaintop. Um, so yeah, I just want to bless you, Joanne. So proud of you. And I feel like the Lord's saying he is so proud of you. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, dear. I actually wanted to also encourage Joan. The word also really resonated with me. <laughs> so you are not off in your... Yeah. Wow, oh, bless God. Um, I just sent a 10-minute timer to every room because this was meant to have ended so, so many minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> we're still here um i don't know if i don't know what we're going to do if it's just like five of us but this is the time where we can just freestyle and then you guys can just do the talking <laughs> because my, my battery is like is low now my social battery is like okay <laughs> this was meant to be an hour <laughs> uh so yeah lydia over to you <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Naomi, uh, I just felt to ask you, is there anything in particular you've been praying for that we can partner yeah. with you in prayer? Um, mm, mainly peace. I've been having a lot of anxiety this year um, mm -hmm. and it's been crippling, like really, really crippling. Um, so yeah, so peace is what I've been seeking the Lord for the whole year. Yeah. Lord, we just release your peace over your daughter right now, Lord. We release your peace that passes all understanding that shall guard her heart and her mind, O oh Lord, that she will have an unrelenting trust and faith in you, knowing that you are the one who takes care of everything, that she will not have to worry about figuring out a situation or trying to uh, control an outcome of a situation, that she will rest in you, O oh Lord that you will find her rest solely in you, Father. And I pray, O oh Lord, that your, that your spirit, O oh Lord, shall come over her and, and, and release her from all the burdens that she is carrying, O oh Lord. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you are the lifter of our burdens, O oh Lord, that we give it all to you and we lay it all at your feet, O oh Lord. And as your daughter lays it at your feet, O oh Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will move on her behalf that you will assign things on her behalf, O Lord, that you will orchestrate things on her behalf, O Father. And I pray, O Lord, that, that not only will she walk in greater measure of peace, O Lord, but she will also walk in a greater measure of joy, that your joy, O Lord, that your exceeding abundant joy, O Lord, shall overtake her, O Lord, that she will find joy even in the simple things, the simple things of life, O Lord. And I pray, O Lord, as we're walking into thanksgiving, O Lord, I pray, O Lord, that her heart, O Lord, shall be thankful for all that you have done, all that you have already accomplished and what you are about to accomplish, oh Lord. And so we seal, we seal your promises over your daughter, Naomi. We seal your word over her. We seal your grace over her. We seal your peace over her. We seal your joy over her. And above all else, we seal your love over her, Lord, that she will know that she is truly forever loved by you, Lord. So we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for what she's experiencing right now and she, what she's about to experience, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. You're so welcome. Amen, amen. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is switch to testimony time while I'm waiting for others to come. Um, yeah, so testimony time. Philip, do you have any testimony from today that you would like to share? Hey, oh, hello, Rami. Good evening. Hi. Um, so, yes. Um, uh, so, during the um, uh, prophetic declaration, you know, through, um, through Phoebe, I think, yeah. Yeah. Um. So there was 
she was giving you know everybody their own prophecies and she was about to end and i was still on the call so she was like um okay um i think this is the last person i was like ah, is she not seeing me or something or is she not seeing my but mm-hmm. before then um i received um i don't know if it was god or my own consciousness but there was a voice that just came to me and was like um you were in the last broadcast i gave you words to work on those mm-hmm. are the words that you're still going to work on okay. and um so Phoebe now noticed me later on. She was like, okay, Philip. We have Philip here. So she now gave me my mouse my um, slots to come on in. So as she came on in, I was now like waiting for a word. And um, the thing, she, that's when I think you now came in okay. to check up on her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you now came in to check up on her, before you came in, she was like, um, there, there was a, there's, there, there's, there, there's a point where God won't give you a word. She, she said God will give you a word. And when God will give you a word, so she now says she has a teaching, you know, yeah. Um, times that she wants to teach us on, and she was teaching on that and the rest. And mm-hmm. she now mentioned um the last words that you I was giving in the broadcast. I was like, I was going on actually. Mm-hmm. And she started telling me that she sees like a vine coming mm-hmm. out from the connection of all those words. Okay. um that god god's going to see me through those words mm-hmm. see me working on those words and the truth is actually i actually have started working on the words i received from the last session and um when she was just saying it i was like wow actually this this is actually something deep you know mm-hmm. and i was like i'm i also told her that i'm actually still waiting for more confirmation to carry on with those words mm-hmm. and um that's what i'm still praying for and hoping for so Mm-hmm. Yeah, my testimony is that it was actually very direct and I I hope for the best, you know. I hope it's achieved because I see greater things also and the believe, you know, the prophecies were gave to me, the courage it also gives to me. So thank you so much. That's great. Okay, so um I release and partner with the Lord to to de- to release everything the Lord has for you in this season. I think the biggest word for you today was actually more of go back to what we've said, because that was the beginning of the word, like honoring what the Lord has said before and not even, I don't even know that you need more confirmation. It's more like, Lord, like what's your strategy for me with what you've given me? And so in this season, what's his strategy to bring to life what you already have? Um, And because that even obedience to steward the word is actually a word (laughs) in itself. So I just released you with the wisdom and strategy you need to make the moves that the Lord is asking you. And the Lord won't release a word that it doesn't have all the supply. So I just release all the resources, whether it's in the mind or in the in physical, just over all of everyone on this call, like just all the resources to bring to life what God has said, because at the end of the day, God does not lie. So there's somebody lacking in action because he does not lie. So all the resources you need, whether mind, mindfully, emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, financially, we just release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Okay. It looks like I might have to just swoop people back here because it looks like they're having too much fun and we <laughs> we're about to end this call. So um, let me try to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to close the rooms um, and bring them all back here. <laughs> give, give 60 seconds. Okay, they have 60 seconds to, <laughs> um, yeah. So let's make this relatable. Joanne, what's your favorite worship song? What, what worship song is speaking to you in this season? Um, my favorite worship song. I I oh, don't have fair. one in particular. The one that I listen to a lot. No, I actually listen to a lot of Victor Thompson. Okay. Um, and he has like those spontaneous worship moments. So it has more than one song in it. So that's what I. Mm. Mm. That's cool. What, what's one of his songs? Is it the one that sang uh, Victory Belongs to Jesus? Is it that one? Is that him? 
Hi guys, welcome back. I mean, I know you guys were having fun. I'm sorry I had to swoop you back here. Victor Thompson? Yes, yes. I was asking what what song. Which one? Um, oh goodness. I can't remember the name of the song. Yeah, no, no, that that's okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay so welcome back guys i hope you guys had a great time in that i'm going to take two testimonies before we end and wrap up this call i'm sorry i had to swoop you guys here and um, i we we have to end at some point <laughs> um, but i trust the lord will continue what he started and and i just i was just praying for the smaller group now that for the resources for every word that you've received every word that you've been stewarding even from as a child, every dream that you've been stewarding, every word of the Lord over you, like I pray for resources, resources of the mind, resources in terms of finances, resources in terms of people um, that would help you bring the word of God to life over your life in Jesus name. Um, I'm going to take two testimonies and if you could please send your testimonies to the email that I sent you the link, that would be great. It will be very helpful um, for all of us. Um, yeah, so two testimonies. Who wants to go? I already had one from Philip. So two 30 seconds testimony of what the Lord said do, did today. And just before we close. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, um right before I joined this Zoom. I've actually, been feeling, I've actually been feeling very heavy in my heart. Mm. And I normally use like social media to get myself distracted. But I realized that it gave me this temporal joy. And at the end of the day, like I make TikToks, I go online and at the end of the day, I still feel sad. So my friend like invited me to the Zoom call and I got like, I think a message from God, like messages actually, messages from God. And I just want to thank God. I feel a lot better and I feel relieved. Praise God. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Any more testimonies before our ministers share, like how the Lord moved in their rooms and then we can pray and go? <laughs> okay, so um i don't know if this is exactly a testimony but i just want to give thanks for my friend and for um sending me this invite to this meeting because i've been saying it on her story but today something else told me to join to this meeting and to be honest like 20 minutes into the meeting there was really um a voice telling me that i do not belong here like trying to make me leave the meeting and i there was like a fight between my mind and my spirit mm -hmm. and i started crying and the only reason why i stayed because something just told me that you belong here because these people are human beings and you are human beings so and god created <laughs> all of us and we we are here together so i'm just happy that i really stayed and happy that's for good. the word that I had. Mm. So that's that's it. That's my testimony. Wow. Hallelujah. Bree, do you want to say something to that? <laughs> Putting you on the spot always. I was about to go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kachi, you are a powerful um woman of God. You're a powerful um, I'm just gonna say it. You're a powerful prophetess. You are a powerful woman of God. And um the moment you stepped in the room the enemy got nervous. Yeah. He heard your armor before you even came. And so I just bless you to know that. And I actually bless you that after today, there's going to be such a grace and such a peace for you to know that you know that you know who you are in terms of the prophetic, in terms of you hearing the voice of God. I actually feel like it's going to be a divine grace, like a divine, like just complete div like divinity, like you're going to move so quickly. And I see you having a hunger for the Lord. And you're just, I see you on the streets giving prophetic words. You're probably like, that does not sound like me, but I see you doing it. <laughs> and I see you have a book in your hands. So I don't know if it's like a college campus. I don't know what you're doing, but you're on the street and you're giving prophetic words. And I just want you to know that as you obey, the Lord is going to pick you up 
um, with the wind and he's going to take you far. And so with each act of obedience, you're going to accelerate. And so I just bless you that this enemy we saw today, you shall see no more in Jesus name. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. That's, Thank you so much. That's so good. Um, Grace, I just wanted to honor you. I, I feel, I'm sorry. I, I think I just moved on after you shared. I just want to honor you for even just being here and even the boldness to share and even the boldness yeah. to expose your heart and just put it on the platform. So I just released the grace of God as a, oh, wait, <laughs> grace. I released the grace of God. Trust me, <laughs> it was not about your name, but grace, I release the grace of God that surpasses, that surpasses the peace of God that surpasses understanding, but then the grace of God that surpasses understanding. I hey. release it over you for it to All rest. Right. I release mm. that peace for it to rest in the name of Jesus. Um, mm. that, that your name is grace. That grace opens doors, but when they let you in, they see peace in the name of Jesus. So mm-hmm. grace opens doors for you, but as soon as they let you in, they see peace in Jesus' mm-hmm. mighty name. Mm-hmm. Amen. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, please send your written testimonies to remysetiatflow at gmail.com. That's the same one that you got you in here. I just want to honor Eniola for being our evangelist and bringing your friends and your families. Um, you get the gold star today because everyone has told me that you... They, they they were they got invited yeah. right? so thank you <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And, um please send in your testimonies i know that you were whacked in any of the rooms that you were um so bless you guys actually guys could we i'm, I'm going to just give a favor could we all like stretch our hands towards like any and just pray over her um oh, yeah. And it was her birthday yesterday. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your daughter, Lord. Any of the ministers can unmute if they want. Um, they want to pray out loud. Um Lydia, you have something. I feel like you got something. Or just to pray. No, I don't have anything, but I can definitely ask the Lord. Yeah. I just feel um, a wind of change. So over you, and you're like, I just release a wind of change over you. Wind of change. Wind of change. Yeah. Wind of change. Thank wind you. of change in the name of Jesus wind of change i also hear wind of glory so lord we just release your 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 wind of glory over and your la in jesus mighty name i pray um thank you lord and yola i just believe that this year that you have walked into this new year that as you've stepped into another year with the lord and another year in on this earth i believe that you are marked for the glory of the Lord. You're marked for the favor and the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. And, um, as, as Remy said, you're in for a change. And I really believe you're in for a shift, a shift. The tides have, have turned in your favor. The tides have shifted in your favor. And um, this is going to be a time when you are uh, no longer striving or contending, but there's going to be an ease. There's going to be an ease about about this year, there's, it's almost going to be like you're flowing down a stream and as you're flowing, things are happening. And I believe that this has come from a place of rest with the Lord, a place of connection and intimacy. His intimacy really is into me, you see. Um, mm-hmm. And I really believe that the Lord has established things and, and this year is gonna be a year where it's gonna be easy for you. And, um, and no longer are you striving or fighting or, or wrestling things out. Um, the Lord has already established things for you. And I just see that the Lord is even, uh, there's going to be, a, this is also going to be your joy for you. And, and as the Lord is stirring up a deeper level of joy, because even before we got on this call, uh, Brie was just so 
she, she just like started laughing and it just like shifted the atmosphere. <laughs> and I really believe that's something that you're carrying. And the Lord is going to use you as a, um, he's going to use you as a, like, you're going to have this domino effect. The Lord is going to place you in situations and, 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 and rooms and, and, and spaces, and you're going to have a domino ripple effect around you. And uh, it's not because of anything that you're going to strive to do or work it up. It's just who you are. And the Lord is going to position you and what you're going to release is going to impact and influence just like what Bree did this, this morning. Like she was just, she was so filled with joy that it just stirred up joy in our spirits. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. Um, the Lord is going to position you in places where you're going to impact the room and the atmosphere of the place. Um, and I just wow. want to bless, I want to bless the grace and the ease you're walking into and that you will know that you will know that you will know it, it is because of the goodness and the mercy and the favor of the Lord on your life. It is not because of anything you can do or uh, can do or is, are about to do. It is nothing because of your own strength, but because Amen. it's solely of the Lord. Uh, so I just want to bless you, Niola. I bless that these next 12 months are going to be some of the greatest months of your life and, and Amen. Go from glory to glory, grace to grace. So. Amen. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Amen. Hey, Niola, I just wanted, I don't have anything to add. I just felt the emphasis on what I, you know, I, what, Rim, what um, Remy and what um, Lydia was saying um when she was talking about the wind of change um that uh to move in this word no matter what it looks like no matter how you may be feeling in the moment mm -hmm. to move in the word and so i just wanted mm -hmm. you to i just wanted to just i just feel like it's such a stark change it's like a shift such a stark shift but i just feel like the lord is saying that as he, as Lydia was speaking to you, or Remy was speaking favor over you, that it's actually um, that that the Lord is shifting you. Mm. And so I just bless you with faith to believe. Mm. Amen. 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 Wow. Thank amen. you so much. Sorry. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, as we normally do, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, this is a program that was one day. And I kept on, and I keep on hearing till the 26th, but I know for sure that it does not mean that <laughs> it's a longer program. So just to say like every day between now and the 26th of November, I'm going to come online on my Instagram and give words. So you can, you're free to jump on or tell people or share with somebody. I feel like I'm going to target one person a day. Um, so it's not even about the numbers for me, but just the obedience. I, I feel like the Lord has something. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining. Please send your testimonies by word if you didn't get to share them today. It blesses me so much and it gives me the motivation to come back um, or, or, you know, um, make space for another move of God. So we bless you guys so much. If you could do me one favor and just like point your hands towards the ministers and um, just so that they can get filled back as we leave. Um, thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Just the energy of God, the energy and the refill. Um, thank you, Jesus. And even over Phoebe does had to jump back right onto work. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, could you unmute to say bye? And um, we'd love to hear your voices as you leave. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.
Okay, guys. Oh, how did it go? I did not know it would be two hours. I'm so sorry. You, you in your room, I don't know what you were doing with your children, but they just stayed in your class. They did not come out. <laughs> Brie. <laughs> Can we talk about me? <laughs> yeah, they, they just sleep, we just stayed there. And I, I don't know if you did not get tired. That was like, hey, <laughs> oh my Girl, God. I, didn't I, was, I, was, I have, and I have such a headache. Oh no, <laughs> me too. I have such a headache. That's why I was trying to, be, I was like, Jesus, I'm going to need 